How did Tesla do it? Tesla, I think, was actually capturing resonant magnetic field energy of the Earth that's almost boundless. So there are a lot of, quote, free energy approaches. I think the ones that use these very high voltage systems that create a sort of a vector, a tap, into this quantum vacuum energy and zero point energy field. Those began to be stumbled across, but sort of episodically as a phenomenon back in the late 1800s, because that was the heyday when they were first discovering electromagnetism. And I think Maxwell and some of these guys stumbled across this, but they didn't know what it was. You were getting more energy out than you had to put in. So I think you can have a rotational coil-based device. Floyd Sweet, who we feature in the movie, had a solid state device that was about this big that could run a 300 horsepower electric engine for your car. In a particle, accelerator tests so tightly classified it's never been officially acknowledged, a team of scientists tried something no modern lab had dared. They tuned magnetic field resonators to mimic Tesla's lost resonance experiments. Not to test the Higgs, but to awaken the ether. What happened next left even hardened physicists stunned. This wasn't about finding a new particle. This wasn't about dark matter. The anomaly, they observed, was a pulse of unexplained energy that defied the known standard model. Their instruments didn't record a particle. They recorded a shift in the vacuum baseline itself. The results? Data loss. Spontaneous quench. Instruments recorded what one physicist called, quote, a harmonic echo with no source. Let's be clear about what we're discussing Yes, Tesla's ether theory was being investigated. Yes, something unusual happened during these tests. But now, the real questions emerge. What exactly did they detect? And why are so many in the scientific community reluctant to discuss these findings? Inside a vacuum tube buried beneath 100 meters of rock, something rippled through space at the moment of synchronized magnetic pulse. Not just energy, but an asymmetry something that wasn't supposed to exist in a perfect vacuum. Allegedly, multiple unusual phenomena occurred simultaneously. Detectors misfired simultaneously across unrelated systems. This is particularly noteworthy because these systems weren't directly connected. They shouldn't have failed in unison. A temporary energy spike was recorded, resembling the Casimir effect, but amplified far beyond expected parameters. For context, the Casimir effect is a proven quantum phenomenon where vacuum fluctuations create a measurable force. But what was observed here was reportedly of a different magnitude entirely. One log entry reportedly described it as field excitation consistent with coherent vacuum structure. Let's break this down. What could it actually mean to disturb the vacuum we're not talking about air or particles. We're talking about the zero-point field, the energetic fabric of space itself. Now, if that field reacted to these resonance patterns, then Tesla might have been pointing to something real all along. If you're finding this as fascinating as I do, take a second to hit that subscribe button and like this video. We're just getting to the most mind-bending part. While you're here, hit like and subscribe if you want more science stories the mainstream won't touch, we're diving into territories where conventional science meets its boundaries, and you won't want to miss what's coming next. What do you think they touched? What do you believe they might have awakened in that particle accelerator? The worst case scenario. Some believe the accelerator didn't just test the ether, it cracked it. This isn't just about detecting something unusual. It's about potentially disturbing something fundamental to our reality. One insider allegedly warned, we don't know what we interacted with, but it interacted back. This cryptic statement hints at something far more concerning than a simple anomaly. It suggests an active response from what should have been empty space. To understand why this might be concerning, we need to look at some actual physics concepts Theoretical physicists have proposed that disturbing the vacuum field could trigger catastrophic chain reactions in what's known as a false vacuum scenario. This isn't fringe science. It's a concept discussed in peer-reviewed journals. Though theoretical, 
Some researchers have speculated this is why vacuum energy manipulation has been avoided in defense-funded labs. The risk-to-reward calculation simply doesn't favor experimentation in this domain. You might be thinking, this sounds like science fiction. But here's the thing. Vacuum isn't empty. It's packed with fluctuating fields, zero-point energy, and virtual particles. What they did was hit it with resonance. And resonance is precisely what Tesla believed could excite the ether. What makes this story particularly compelling is that there are genuine, unexplained anomalies in modern physics that echo some aspects of what Tesla proposed with his ether theory. Let's examine a few of these real scientific puzzles. The muon G2 anomaly at Fermilab has shown particles deviating from their expected behavior in ways that suggest influence from an unknown field. When muons spin in a magnetic field, they're wobbling at a rate that doesn't match standard model predictions. Something is affecting these particles that our current understanding can't explain, suggesting they might be interacting with a field or force we haven't fully characterized. The LHCBCP violation experiments have revealed that some particles break symmetry laws, hinting at a hidden bias in space itself. Why would matter and antimatter behave differently unless there's some underlying asymmetry in the vacuum they move through? The Higgs field, which we've actually confirmed exists, is literally a field that gives mass by existing everywhere. It's eerily similar to Tesla's proposed universal medium. This isn't speculation. It's established science that an invisible field permeates all of space, interacting with particles to give them their fundamental properties. What if all these modern mysteries are just fragmented observations of what Tesla called the ether? What if we're rediscovering piece by piece what he intuited a century ago? You know, when Tesla said the ether was the origin of matter, he was ridiculed. But now, we're seeing scientists propose fields, invisible, omnipresent, structure-giving, that sound very familiar. The quantum vacuum, vacuum energy, the Higgs field, these concepts bear striking resemblances to aspects of what Tesla was describing, just in modern scientific language. One physicist in the room reportedly issued a single sentence before requesting removal from the project. If we've excited the vacuum beyond its stable state, we don't know what happens next. This stark warning takes on particular significance when we consider an actual scientific puzzle known as the vacuum catastrophe problem. This is a genuine conundrum in physics where calculations predict vacuum energy should be far greater than what we observe by a factor of 10 to the 120th power. That's a discrepancy so vast it's considered one of the most profound unsolved problems in modern physics. What if something is suppressing this energy? What if the vacuum is in a delicate balance that could be disturbed? This isn't wild speculation. It's a question that emerges naturally from the mathematics of quantum field theory. Physicists have long wondered why the calculated vacuum energy doesn't collapse the universe or tear it apart. The mathematical predictions suggest energy densities trillions of times greater than what we observe. This massive discrepancy suggests there's something fundamental about vacuum energy that we don't understand. If Tesla was right about the ether being a substance that can be excited into different states, could resonance experiments potentially trigger a phase transition in this underlying field? The implications would extend far beyond a single laboratory experiment. They would touch the very fabric of reality as we understand it. Now that we've explored the alleged experiment and its implications, let's step back and provide some essential background on Tesla's original theories and how they relate to modern physics. Nikola Tesla firmly believed in a mechanical ether, a primary substance filling all space. He described it as a perfect fluid that could form tiny vortices or whirls that become matter. When these whirls stop, he believed matter would disappear back into the ether. 
Tesla also saw this medium as the carrier of electromagnetic waves and even gravity. He explicitly rejected Einstein's curved space theory, insisting that forces must be transmitted through a medium. This classical ether concept was effectively killed by the famous Michelson-Morley experiment in 1887. They attempted to detect Earth's motion through this proposed ether and found nothing. No matter how precise their measurements, they couldn't detect any ether, wind, or drag. This null result led to a crisis in physics that was eventually resolved by Einstein's relativity theory. Modern physics abandoned the mechanical ether concept because relativity and quantum field theory provided more accurate predictions without requiring a fixed background medium. Einstein showed that light's behavior could be explained without an ether, simply by accepting that the speed of light is constant for all observers. But what's fascinating is how our understanding of vacuum has evolved. Today's vacuum isn't empty at all. It's teeming with virtual particles constantly popping in and out of existence. Zero-point energy that persists even at absolute zero temperature in fields that permeate all of space. So what's the difference between Tesla's ether and today's quantum fields? Honestly, mostly the language. The deeper you go into modern vacuum physics, the more it starts to sound like something Tesla would have imagined minus the gears and pulleys. The quantum vacuum is a dynamic, energy-filled substrate underlying reality. It's not mechanical in the way Tesla envisioned, but it's certainly not nothing. This convergence raises an intriguing question. Was Tesla onto something fundamental, just described in the mechanical language available to him at the time? Let's bring together what we've explored. The central mystery speculative but grounded in real physics, revolves around two key ideas. A hidden field may indeed permeate our universe. Whether we call it the quantum vacuum, the Higgs field, or echo Tesla's term, ether, modern physics acknowledges that space has structure and properties. It's not the mechanical medium Tesla envisioned, but it's certainly not empty nothingness either. A particle accelerator experiment may have disturbed this field not by measuring a new particle, but by shaking the fabric of space itself. The alleged anomalies, simultaneous detector failures, energy spikes and harmonic resonances hint at something beyond standard particle interactions. Mainstream science doesn't widely discuss these possibilities, not because they're necessarily fake, but because they exist in that challenging territory between established theory and speculative physics. The evidence is insufficient for peer-reviewed publication, yet the theoretical underpinnings align with genuine questions about vacuum energy and field theory. If even one fragment of Tesla's ether idea proves real, it wouldn't just rewrite physics. It would mean the universe isn't just filled with energy, it's made of it. This realization would bridge the gap between Tesla's intuitive understanding and modern quantum field theory suggesting that his mechanical language was simply describing quantum reality through the lens of 19th century conceptual tools. The questions remain open. Was Tesla glimpsing a truth that our mathematics is only now rediscovering? Did that classified experiment touch something fundamental? And if so, what might it mean for our understanding of reality itself? If you want more stories like this, where suppressed science meets real-world data, Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. The intersection of forgotten theories and cutting-edge physics is where the most fascinating discoveries often emerge. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.